Hi, good morning to every uh, morning. Well, as Samantha mentioned, this is our project that we are just starting now. Uh, we want to acknowledge uh, the support from HP through two different grants. This is the new one, the Catalyst Initiative. The, we are in the Measuring Learning Consortium. And also our students want to acknowledge financial support for their PhD studies from the National Council of, for Science and Technology of Mexico and our university. I was trying to put an agenda and I will say that it will look like a roller coaster. Uh, we are uh, in Puebla, or well, in Cholula, near Puebla City. Puebla City is a World Heritage Site. Our university is very close to an active volcano. This is a picture from our lab. This is the building in our lab. We are in a small Mexican private institution of high learning. We have been accredited in the US for more than 50 years. We are truly a university. We have a school of arts and humanities and School of so Social Sciences, School of Science, School of Engineering, and School of Business and Economics. In our department, we have two masters and two PhD programs certified as of high quality by CONACYT. We also have two undergraduate programs, a chemical engineering and a food engineering program. I mention this because uh, our goal in this project is to enhance the development of the broad range of so-called 21st century expertise in engineering students by designing critical support systems. In order to do that, we will use the framework for the 21st century learning that you can access freely in this web page. And these support systems are in the bottom part of this graph and our standards and assessments, curriculum and instruction, professional development, and learning environments. We recently generated a new curricula for our undergraduate degrees in chemical, food, and we are starting an environmental engineering program. This curricula will be integrated and spiral, and we have a design seven courses that will be designed to enhance this uh, 21st century expertise development. These courses are considered pillars. So using the framework for 21st century learning, we will define the standards, create formative and summative assessments, design instruction activities, develop professional development opportunities for the teachers, and generate corresponding learning environments. For uh, designing these learning environments, we will use the How People Learn framework, which uh, establishes four overlapping lenses to analyze and design learning situations. Our uh, environments should be knowledge, learner, community, and assessment center. If you want to know more about this, there is a uh, several books in this web page and therefore these pillar courses will be designed taking into account the recent research on human learning and cognitive processes that underline expert performances and also technological advances. These technological advances will be uh, mainly uh, performed by using tablet PCs and associated technologies. These tablet PCs, we have now more than five years of experience using them, and they are very powerful student response systems that promote participation in the classroom and increase interaction between the instructor and students, among students and among teams of students. The idea is to generate 
interactive classrooms and integrating multiple formative assessments by means of these tablet PCs and associated technologies. Just to give you an example, in the classroom the instructor uses one of the tablets. Uh, the courses will be taught in a classroom that is designed for cooperative learning. The instructor tablet PC is wireless connected to the projector, so the instructor is able to move within the classroom with his or her tablet PC. We will use Ink Survey, that is a web-based tool de developed by Colorado School of Mines uh, Professor Skowalski. The idea is to pose open-ended questions to students during class and receive real-time student responses so the teacher can adjust in real time. This is the web page for the software which is freely available for everyone in the world. We will also identify several classroom assessment techniques appropriate to the courses and adapt them to a tablet PC classroom presenter environment. This is another piece of software that we have been using that is also free to use. The idea is to gauge student learning in real time and make real time pedagogical ad adjustments as needed. Uh, this software can also broadcast the presenter screen to the entire class so students are able to receive the application the instructor annotation and they can add their own annotation at, to every course presentation. So mainly we will we'll use this sequence of activities. The teacher will post a question, the students will ask the questions mainly before class to reveal students prior knowledge or at the end of the class to know how much they learn about a topic. Once the students receive the questions, they will write their, their answers and send them back to the professor. Students can also uh, ask for clarifications. They will use the tablet PCs to use digital ink, so they can handwrite, sketch, graph, draw chemical structures, etc. After that, the strong the instructor receives an instantaneous compilation of these responses and he or she can display the selected responses to, re to the rest of the class to make students think invisible, to give them chances to revise and also to provide opportunities for what-if thinking. Further, in response to these student answers and sometimes student questions, the instructor can provide or the students can provide feedback, comments and or change in structure accordingly. So at the end of the day we hope that these pillar courses will improve student understanding of the engineering method which is very important for these three undergraduate degrees and also their ability to solve practical problems and complete real-world projects while developing this 21st century expertise. And we want to welcome to our community, to our learning community. We hope to collaborate with several of you. And if you have any questions, suggestions, comments, we, well, I'll be happy to answer them. This is my email also. And I want to thank you. We want to thank you with this other view from our lab. This is not actually a mountain. It's a pre-Hispanic pyramid which was covered and then on the top of it is a church. You can visit the pyramid, you can visit the church and you are more than welcome to come to Cholula and Puebla. We will be happy to have you here. Thank you. Bye. Bye.